Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss some more problems regarding the state space analysis. Here, look at the problem. The problem is given A matrix equal minus 1, 0, 0, minus 2. If the initial conditions are x1 of 0 equal to 1, x2 of 0 equal to minus 1. That means x1 at time 0, x2 at time 0. The solution of state equation is so is asking to find out the solution. That means solution of state equation means first the solution is we have two two by two matrix is there. So we have two state two variables are available. So those two variables are one is x1 of t and another one of another one is the x2 of t. So we have to find out the x1 of t and x2 of t further. So in order to find out this first what is the state equation you know that the state equation x dot equal to ax plus bu ax plus bu right here he given uh, he given x dot equal to ax formula he, he doesn't given the input here he doesn't mention input so input is 0 so that's why I will modify this equation directly equal x dot equal to ax x dot equal to ax here x dot means we have two variables one is x1 dot another one is the x2 dot these are the two variables and the matrix a is minus 1 0 0 minus 2 this is the a matrix and the variables are x x means x1 and x2 x1 and x2 from this we can get the two equations those are x1 dot equal to minus 1 x1 plus 0 into x2 so in order to find out this this element into this element plus this element into this element what about second second equal to x2 dot so here x2 dot equal 0 into x1 minus 2 into x2 so by modifying this we will get the finally x1 dot equal minus x1 so x1 dot equal minus x1 and here x2 dot equal minus 2x2 x2 dot equal to minus 2x2 what he given what is x1 dot x1 dot means dx1 by dt x2 dot means dx2 2 by dt generally so if you apply the Laplace transform to both apply Laplace transform so in order to make the calculation is easy we always going to apply the Laplace transform then if you apply the Laplace transform this is dx1 by dt is become s into x1 s into x1 of s always you should take the initial condition minus initial condition is equal to minus x1 for this dx2 by dt will become s into x2 of s minus x2 of 0 equal to minus 2 into x2 of s so you know that the x1 of 0 and x2 of 0 values are given what are those x1 of 0 equal to here 1 and x2 of 0 equal to minus 1 substitute those values so here s into x1 of s equal to 1 minus x1 this is the minus x1 okay next here s into x2 of s x2 of 0 value is minus 1 so minus of minus 1 equal to minus 2 x2 of s okay so just common the x1 of s here then x1 of s equal to s plus 1 equal to 1 here if you common the x2 of s x2 of s equal to s plus 2 is equal to minus 1 here this is the minus 1 here so we require x1 of s now the x1 of s equal to 1 by s plus 1 and here the x2 of s equal to minus 1 by s plus 2 so now apply the inverse Laplace transform so apply inverse Laplace transform then x1 of s become x1 of t and this is 1 by s plus 1 is become e power minus t 
here x2 of s become x2 of t and here minus 1 by s plus 2 become minus 1 by sorry minus is there minus is there and e power minus 2t e power minus 2t so e power minus t so finally we will get the values x1 of t variable is e power minus t and x2 of t is e power minus 2t okay so this is the procedure to d if you give the the state matrix is like this and if we mention the initial conditions then the procedure to find out the state equations so this is the procedure to find out the state equations so we will go for the next problem what is the next problem here here the problem is x1 of t x2 of t he given two state variables 0 0 minus 9 x1 of t x2 of t 0 45 u of t with have the initial conditions x1 of 0 and x2 of 0 0 comma 0 when ut denotes the un unit step function so this is the unit step function input is nothing but the unit step function unit step function that means u of t u of t equal to 1 yeah then the value of this value x1 of t whole square and x2 of t whole square so here here same procedure whatever we did in the previous problem it is also the same procedure so first write down what is x1 of t x1 of t i will write here 0 into x1 of t 0 into x2 of t plus 0 into u of t so directly i will write here what is x1 of x1 dot t equal to 0 into u 0 into x1 of t plus 0 into x2 of t 0 into x2 of t plus 0 into u of t so what we will get x1 of t finally x1 of t simply is nothing but this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 finally we are getting x1 of t is the 0 so we are getting 1 x1 of t what about x2 of t so now we will find out the x2 of t so x2 of t equal to, look at here 0 into x1 of t minus 9 into x2 of t so first is 0 into x1 of t and next is minus 9 into x2 of t so this is minus 9 into x2 of t and here uh, plus 45 into u of t here plus 45 into u of t so by modifying this we will get x2 of t is equals to minus 9 into x2 of t plus 45 into u of t okay so now we will convert into the s domain so apply laplace transform here so when we are applying the laplace transform you will get x2 of t means dx2 of dx2 by dt so we will get s into x2 of s minus x2 of 0 equal minus 9 into x2 of s plus 45 u of t we will get the 1 by s we will get the 1 by s okay yes but the initial condition x2 of he is directly given 0 so this is the directly 0 next what we have to do we have to common the x2 so if you common the x2 term here this is the s and if, if you common the x2 term here this is the plus 9 is equal to 45 by s yes. 45 by s so now if you find out x2 of s from here so we will get x2 of s equal 45 by here the s into s plus 9 the s into s plus 9 yes so finally we were get, we are getting s into s2 s2 so so this is the x2 of s we are getting yes next what he is to find out he is asking to find out the question is limit t tends to infinity x1 of t whole square and x2 of t whole square 
so here the question is first write out he is asking to find out limit t tends to infinite x1 of t whole square plus x2 of t whole square this is the under root but what you are getting initially x1 of t is the 0 so that will substitute we will get like this so that will substitute this value is the 0 so finally it will modify like this limit t tends to infinite t tends to infinite what will having finally x2 of t whole square then square root will be cancelled the remaining is the limit t tends to infinite x2 of t is the remaining so x2 of t is the remaining so generally limit t tends to infinite x2 of t so we can convert into the s how it converts by maximum power transfer theorem by maximum power transfer theorem by maximum power transfer theorem how it modifies like this limit s tends to 0 s into x of s x x s into x2 of s so whenever limit t t tends to infinite x2 of t in time domain is available by maximum power transfer theorem we can convert limit s tends to 0 s into x2 of s so that's why we have x2 of s already available that's why i will use that principle so what is x2 of s there so we are getting x2 of s is 45 by s into s plus 9 so here limit s tends to 0 s into 45 by so here s is there s into s plus 9 so both s will be cancelled so if you substitute here 45 by 0 plus 9 so this is the 45 by 9 9 5 is a 45 therefore the value is finally we are getting the 5 the value is finally we are getting the 5 okay so this is the another important model so sometimes he given the state equations like this he will ask these values he given in state equations then he is asking to find out the this values then you should convert into the each and individual first x1 of t you have to find out and x2 of t you have to write then you have to apply the laplace transform after the finding of it we will fi finally find out this value okay finally find out this value i hope all of you understand the session thank you